you may be seated. (laughs) 
good evening. I am Eric Turner, president of Black River Technical College. Our mission as an institution is to transform lives through quality academic and career education to enhance the community that we serve. On behalf of the Black River Board of Trustees and members of the faculty and staff, it is my privilege to welcome you to the 2017 winter commencement. This is a special day in the lives of our students who have endeavored to achieve this milestone in their lives. It is also a special event for you as family and friends who have played such an important role in supporting them. Thank you for honoring them by your presence this evening. Now, there are several people uh, joining me on the platform this evening I would like to recognize. Uh, please hold your applause. And so as I call your name, platform guest, if you would uh, stand very quickly. Uh, Mr. Doug Cox, our chairman of the board. Mr. Ray Knoll, our vice chair. Mr. David Coker, board secretary. And Mrs. Ruth Ann Ellis. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We also have the executive team on the platform this evening, Mrs. Angela Flippo, Vice President for Enrollment Management, Mrs. Karen Liebhaber, our Vice President for Institutional Advancement, Mrs. Rhonda Stone, Vice President of Finance, and Dr. Sheila Taylor, Vice President for Academics. Joining them, Mrs. Kim Adams, our faculty member and coordinator of our Academic Success Center, Mr. Philip Dixon, Dean of Technical Education and Business, Mrs. Ramonda House, Dean of Nursing and Allied Health, and Mrs. Donna Statler, Dean of General Studies and Faculty Guest Speaker. Now, there are two housekeeping details. Uh, please feel free. Uh, there are just a few empty seats left, uh, so if you want to uh, fill those up, that's fine. And also, out of courtesy for the graduating class, if you would silence your cell phones, please. Once your graduate takes the stage in a few moments, I invite you to come up front uh, and take photographs. Our student speaker this evening is Mrs. Christy Duke. Christy is originally from Paragould, but is currently residing in Walnut Ridge. She is graduating this evening with an Associate of Arts and was the recipient of the Academic All-Star Award. Christy plans to continue her education at the University of Central Arkansas, where she is enrolled for the spring semester. Christy is majoring in psychology with an emphasis in drug and alcohol addiction. Her long-term goal is to become a clinical psychologist. Christy is married, has three adult daughters, and one 15-year-old son. Please join me in welcoming Christy. Thank you, Dr. Turner. First, I'd like to say to all the families, friends, staff, and students of the 2017 class, it is an honor and a privilege to be speaking on behalf of the graduates. But statistically, I should not be standing here today. You see, not only am I 42 years old, I was a high school dropout that obtained my GED later in life. For many years, I struggled with a drug addiction. Author and abolitionist Frederick Douglass once said, without struggle, there is no progress. Though I have faced many struggles throughout my life, those struggles were always followed with great success. And proof of that is that I'm standing here speaking to you tonight. Those struggles were made possible through the help of teachers here at Black River Technical College, like Dr. and Mrs. Clements, who gave me an insight into history and taught me about world literature, or Mr. Huggins and Ms. Griffin, who got me through microbiology and human AMP. And I will never, ever forget Mr. Dixon, who was my guiding light down a long and twisted path of algebra. As I look back over the past two years, I have met some really great people and made lifelong friends. Together, we made it through midterms, we conquered finals, and we even survived the great flood of 2017. And that was with no finals. And everybody can agree that was a great relief. <laughs> By my faith in God, the support of my family, hard work and dedication, I am here tonight as a part of the 2017 graduating class. And as we close this chapter in our life, and face what is ahead of us, I'd like to leave everyone with a scripture that has always gotten me through. And it's from Philippians 4 and 13, and it says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us. I'd like to thank you and have a good night. Thank you, Christy. Now, I have to say, well, although we canceled finals, I'd rather not have a flood. <laughs> <laughs> Our 
Our keynote speaker is Mrs. Donna Statler. Mrs. Statler was born and raised in Randolph County on a farm not six miles from here, from the college. During her 30-year tenure here at this, at this fine institution, she has held six different, or had six different positions, played six different roles in the lives of students. First of those was a GED recruiter, and then the coordinator for the Job Training Partnership Act. Then she uh, went into the classroom as a GED instructor, and then a mathematics instructor, math department chair, and then became division chair of general education, and now she serves as dean of general studies today. Mrs. Staller is a member of Sutton Free Will Baptist Church and has taught girls Sunday school as well as accompanying them to church camp. You are a brave woman. Mrs. Staller has been married to David for some 30 years. They have a son, Cody, age 24, daughter, Elizabeth, age 19, and one perfect granddaughter, Paisley. Daughter Elizabeth is receiving her Associate of Arts this evening from Black River in absentia uh, because she's enrolled at the University of Central Arkansas in Conway. Please welcome, please help me welcome our Dean of General Studies, Mrs. Donna Statler. Thank you, Dr. Turner, for that introduction. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say congratulations to the BRTC <coughs> graduates that are here tonight and to their families. Uh, when Dr. Turner asked me to be a speaker, my first instinct was to say no. Um, he asked why, and I said, I'm not a speaker. If you ask me to work algebra problems, I can stand on that stage and work algebra all night long. I can't speak. He said, yes, you can. Give it some thought. So here I am. As I was trying to get ideas for the speech, uh, I went to the internet, like many of you have done for your research papers for English. I uh, ran across one speech by Lou Holtz, and if you haven't seen or heard that one, I recommend that you listen to it. It's a great speech. It's funny, inspirational, and short, and I will do my best to try to do the same thing. Dr. Turner gave a little bit about my history here at BRTC for the, over the past 30 years. It's my pleasure to have been a part of BRTC and to watch its growth. I'm currently working in general studies area, but my heart is also in the technical area. My father-in-law, the late great Dave Statler, started the machine shop program when the doors opened for this school in 1972 as Black River Vocational Technical School. My husband and nephew were graduates of that program and sat in those very seats where you are tonight. If it weren't for the origination of the technical school, the college wouldn't be here today. Both areas have great value, value to our community, value to our college, and value to our students. In my 30 years here at BRTC, Students have shared many stories about how they would not have had an opportunity for an education if BRTC weren't in their community. I'm sure some of you have similar stories. Students face many struggles. Struggles with finances, juggling jobs, daycare, family, study time, and that list goes on. You made it. That shows your endurance and your perseverance. I'm thankful that BRTC has been a part of your success story tonight. Tests show how strong something or someone truly is. Now, I'm not referring to the test that you might have had in your algebra class where you wondered if you were going to pass. <laughs> um, we test metal to determine its strength. We don't know how truly strong we are until we're tested. Some of you have been tested to see if you could persevere and get your education, and you've succeeded, and that's why you're here tonight. Whether you've learned a trade at BRTC that leads to direct employment, or you've gained an associate's degree in order to continue your education, you've taken a step to better your lives. Some of you are excited, some of you are scared. That's only natural as you take the next step in your lives. I hope that you've not only gained an education here at BRTC, but you've enjoyed your time here. Value your education. My parents, only completed the eighth grade, but there was a, never a question as to whether or not I would go to school, go to college. They wanted me to have a better, easier life than what they had. They encouraged me and pushed me to go to college every day. My junior year, I got burned out and wanted to sit out a semester. They were adamant, no, you can't do that. They insisted I stayed in school, 
They were afraid that I would not continue if I just set out one semester. I read a quote as I was doing some research for my speech, and it says, the road to success is filled with many parking places. That might have been me if they hadn't insisted that I continue my education. And of course, like parents usually are, they were right. I graduated one year later with my BSE, fulfilled my lifelong dream of being a math teacher. Whether you are formally continuing your education or not, education is a continuous lifelong experience. Life teaches us lessons every single day, good or bad, so be prepared. I hope you value your education. Tonight is a high point in your life. Not everything is going to be roses from this point on. You'll have challenges. As you face those challenges, you have two choices. You can face them with a negative attitude and have a pity party like all of us have done from time to time. That accomplishes nothing. You can face them with a positive attitude. You can trudge on. You can smile and work hard. My mom, who lived to be 91 years old, faced many challenges in her lifetime. I asked her one day how she dealt with all the challenges that she faced. And she said, you do what you got to do, sister. So that's my mantra almost every day when I face a challenge. You do what you got to do. Do everything you can to the best of your ability. Face life with joy. Struggles and challenges are going to happen. You'll have to deal with difficult people difficult situations everywhere you go. Your attitude can make a difference on the outcome of those challenges and those situations. My parents also taught me work ethic. Whether you love or hate your job, work hard. Do your job to the best of your ability. If you want change, work to make it happen. Try. If it doesn't work, that doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means you have to try something else. In the science classes that many of you had, in your labs, you tested a hypothesis. I remember Mr. Lynch saying to a student recently, just because it didn't work doesn't mean you weren't right. You just have to try something else. So if you don't get the outcome you want, try something else. I reference my parents almost daily in conversations, especially my mother. The elder, elderly, sorry, the elderly are full of wisdom. Listen to what they have to say. I guess I'm approaching that stage. So hopefully I haven't lost you so far. I'm almost finished. I challenge you to do these things. I challenge you to value your education, to work hard at everything you do, to respect others, to always be kind and support others in their endeavors. Bring joy to the lives of those around you, at home, at school, and at work. Forgive others if they're short with you and hurt you. We never know what trials that person sitting right beside us, us are facing every single day, and we all have them. My favorite quote is one of Maya Angelou, and it's this. I've learned that people will never forget what you said. They will, sorry. I've learned that people will forget what you said. A little nervous. People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But they will never forget how you made them feel. Again, graduates, congratulations. I wish you the very best in your future. Thank you for the honor of being your speaker tonight. To be here this evening, our students have worked extremely hard. We're very proud of them. However, these students did not do this work alone. They were supported by family and friends, many who are here tonight. Graduates, would you please stand? Now, would you please turn around and with your applause, Thank your family and friends for being here tonight. Please be seated. In addition to the hard work of our students, the support
support of family and friends, there are others here tonight that have walked every step of this journey with them. Would our faculty please stand? Thank you for everything you have done for their success. Please be seated. You may have noticed some graduates are wearing honor cords with their academic regalia. These graduates are members of our two honor societies, Phi Theta Kappa and the National Technical Honor Society. Students are invited into membership into these societies based on their outstanding academic achievements. Both of these honor societies require a 3.50 GPA to be invited and must maintain a 3.25 GPA to remain an active member. Would members of the Beta Delta Phi chapter of Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society please stand? Thank you. Please be seated. Would the members of the National Technical Honor Society please stand? You may be seated. Now, for everything, the reason you came. Well, the candidate, degree candidates for the Associate of Science, Associate of Arts, please stand and come forward as your marshals indicate. Associate of Arts, Laney Janelle Brigance. Christy Dawn Duke. Maria G. Fry. Claudette Brown Hackworth. Rachel Hammond Hall. <laughs> Thomas A. Hazelwood. <laughs> Paige Nicole. Hunter. Lance Jacob Kellett. <laughs> Tiffany Ann King. <laughs> Ashley Ann Lane. <laughs> K. 
Katrina Arnett Lucio. Stephen Blaine Murray. Kristen Elizabeth Smart. Monica Lynn Strom. Tara Michelle Vaughn. Callie Jane Westbrook. Samantha Brooke Williams. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, Administrative Services, Melissa Renee Crane. Nicholas, just a second. Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration, Nicholas E. Exum. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Technology, Jonathan C. Checkett. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, Criminal Justice, James L. Harrison. Dustin Richard McKenzie. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, Emergency Medical Technician, Paramedic, Mary Furrow. Associate of Applied Science, Fire Science, Miles C. Clem. <laughs> Zachary B. Hankins. Associate of Applied Science, General Technology, Health Professions, Nursing, Felicia Leanne Buckwalter. <laughs> Paige Elizabeth Marie Davis.
Timothy Joe Ellis. James T. Freeman. Courtney Jessica Hams. Sabrina Marie Naquin. Sarah Lane Parnell. Natalie M. Ragsdale. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, General Technology, Health Professions, Respiratory. Chelsea Danielle Clark. <laughs> Julie Elizabeth Freeman. <laughs> Zephaniah Renee Johnson. Jamie Lee Pasalacqua. Lauren Danielle Pate. Associate of Applied Science Industrial Maintenance Technology, Joshua Michael Foster. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, Danielle S. Lester. Technical Certificate, Health Professions, Nursing Emphasis, Madison Lee Foster. <laughs> Caitlin Diane Faust. Shyla Marie McNatt. John William Woodward. Technical Certificate, Health Professions, Respiratory Emphasis, Ashley Renee Harp.
Tammy Ann Spann. Technical Certificate, Machine Tool Technology, James Alexander Lee. <laughs> Technical Certificate, Nutrition and Food Service Management, LaDonna S. Smith. Technical Certificate, Welding, Brian D. Sherrill. <laughs> Certificate of Proficiency, Emergency Medical Technician, Lindsay Nicole Bagwell. Timothy James Harrison. Blake A. Miller. John Vincent Mullis. <laughs> Timothy J. Sheets. Matthew E. Womack. <laughs> Certificate of Proficiency, Medical Insurance Coding, Samantha Lachey Porter. Monica Janet Sanchez. Certificate of Proficiency, Phlebotomy, Kimberly Lynn Arnell. <clears throat> Brittany Ian Barnett. Sydney L. Davis. Marjorie Eskew. Regina K. Jennings. Kendra Leonard.
Christy L. Martin. Brittany A. Newby. Carly Michelle Otwell. Natalie A. Price. I'm sorry. Lisa Barber. General Education Diploma, Thomas Brown, <laughs> Michelle Burton, Alexis Camp. <laughs> Jessica Cummins. Bailey Darby. <laughs> Elena Hale. Paul Heron Rock Hopper Faith Huffstedler. Hunter Moore. Cheryl Newman. Jose Ruiz. Cody Vitato.
Larry Wilson. Dr. Turner, it is my honor and distinct to present these candidates who qualify in all aspects for the respective degrees and certificates that have successfully completed the prescribed coursework and have been recommended by the faculty and board of trustees to be awarded their degrees and certificates in recognition of their academic accomplishments. Will the candidates please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Black River Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the respective degree or credential you have earned with all the honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. I now present to you the winner class of 2017. Please remain seated for the recessional that follows. <laughs> 